sorry to ask you this, sir, but... Not too late to stop yourself. I need you to pardon a turkey. I already pardoned a turkey. I need you to pardon another one. Didn't I do it right? You did it great, but I need you to come out here and pardon another one. Aren't I going to get a reputation for being soft on turkeys? Sir, can you come out here and just get this over? No, with? I'm not going to just get this. What the hell's going on? They sent me two turkeys. The more photo-friendly of the two gets a presidential pardon and a full life at a children's zoo. The runner-up gets eaten. If the Oscars were like that, I'd watch. Mr. President... Just buy the second turkey. They already sold it. Then there's not much I can do. You can pardon the turkey. The turkey hasn't committed a crime. Sir... C.J., I have really no judicial jurisdiction over birds. Yes, I know that, and you know that, but Morton Horn doesn't know that. Mm, He's a high school kid from the turkey place. He's in high school, and he doesn't know I can't pardon his turkey. That's what I'm betting. C.J., if we don't, and I mean completely overhaul public education in this country... Yes, sir, but maybe this is not the best time to... Where the hell is he? Right out here. Morton, this is President Bartlett. Hey, Morton. Wow. Well said. Is that the turkey? Yes. Your pardon. Sir. What do you want? Well, you know. By the power vested in me by the Constitution of the United States, I hereby pardon you. Okay. No, it's not okay. Sir. Morton, I can't pardon a turkey. If you think I can pardon a turkey, then you have got to go back to your school and insist that you be better prepared to go out in the world. You can't pardon a turkey? No. I'll tell you what I can do. I'm drafting this turkey into military service. In the meantime, somebody will be drafting a check, which will have my signature on it, so the folks can buy themselves a butterball. Okay. Donna, would you have Morton take Troy back to his pen and remember to support his hindquarters? What's wrong with The you? turkey's hindquarters. I'm still waiting for the thing. Right here? Let's go in. Sir? Give me two minutes. I'm going to step out there and begin the singing and lute playing. Whatever. You asked the governor to stand down the 22nd Division. And call in the Red Cross. We didn't do anything illegal. You're not involved in any massive criminal conspiracy. There was no way I was letting them go, and we needed to help China save face. So now they can tell their people that the mighty American military was overpowered. Right. Yeah. So the guy passed the test, huh? You think I would have sent him back if he failed catechism? Let me tell you something. We can be the world's policemen. We can be the world's bank, the world's factory, the world's farm. What does it mean if we're not also? They made it to the new world, Josh. You know what I get to do now? I get to proclaim a national day of Thanksgiving. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, President of the United States. This is a great job. I'm Joe Bethersonton. That's one T and with an H in there. Fargo. Your street address, please. Zip code Fargo, North Dakota, right now. My street address is 11454 Pruder Street. And it's very important that you put street down there because sometimes it gets confused with Pruder Way and Pruder Lane. It's apartment 23R. Fargo, North Dakota. Zip code 50504. Thank you. Your voice sounds very familiar to me. I do radio commercials for products. And how can I help you? Stuffing should be stuffed inside the turkey. Am I correct? It can also be baked in a casserole dish. Well, then we'd have to call it something else, wouldn't we? I suppose. If I cook it inside the turkey, is there a chance I could kill my guests? I'm not saying that's necessarily a deal breaker. Well, there are some concerns. Two main bacterial problems are salmonella and Campylobacter jejuna. All right. Well, first of all, I think you made the second bacteria up. And second of all, how do I avoid it? Make sure all the ingredients are cooked first. Saute any vegetables, fry sausage, oysters, etc. Excellent. Let's talk temperature. 165 degrees. No, see, I was testing you. The USDA calls for turkeys to be cooked to an internal temperature of 180 to 185 degrees. Yes, sir. I was talking about the stuffing, which you want to cook to 165 to avoid the health risks. Okay. Good testing. You have an accurate thermometer? Oh, yeah. It was presented to me as a gift from the personal sous chef to the king of 
auto sales in Fargo. Phil Behind, the man can sell a car like, well, like anything. Very good, sir. You have a good Thanksgiving. And you do too. Thanks a lot. That was excellent. We should do that once a week. Phil Behind. I got to get better at the names. How many treaties have we signed with the Muncie Indians? Six. How many have we revoked? Six. What were the Muncie's doing in 1778? Fighting in George Washington's army. And why aren't you in New York anymore? Because you marched us to Wisconsin. And whose land was it in the first place? Ours. I'm going to have the park police escort you from the building. It'll take me a few minutes so you can make whatever calls you need to make. Or you can come back to my office right now. We'll make an appointment for Monday, and the White House will cover your expenses. OK. OK, what? OK, ma'am. No, OK, you're. We'll come back to the office. How do you keep fighting these smaller injustices when they're all from the mother of injustices? What's the alternative? What's the third thing? You are one of those guys. This is an inning of good relief pitching from a fresh arm. All right. All right. Chances are you have certain qualities that are going to annoy me. I don't know what they are yet, but you have a certain quality about you that says that even though you're a capitalist, you've been schooled in Eastern philosophies. I told you to go to Atlantic City. You didn't deny you've been schooled in Eastern philosophy. Well schooled. You want me to locate your chakra? Look, I'm a lawyer. Good, because they're never annoying. OK. I'm glad you liked what I wrote. I'm pretty tired. I've been tired for a pretty long time, and you've been tired even longer. I'm getting on a plane tonight and going to a place in Nice, and I'm going to stay there for a few weeks. When I get back, it would be a privilege to give you all the help you ask for. Well, I appreciate that. Oh, man, I forgot. Sam wanted me to give you this. You didn't give it to me yesterday. Yeah, you know what? Not your FedEx guy. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Unless you want to start now. Yeah. 